Hello, hello, and welcome to a new series called Paranormal with Lunar. This is a series where I will go through many popular ghost hunting places and the history behind them. While doing this, there will be work in progresses in my current work. Perhaps the scariest part of all is you won't see the finished product. Today's place is called Hummel Park. It is not a known place to people outside of Omaha, Nebraska. Hummel Park is a recreational park founded by Joseph B. Hummel. Hummel was a superintendent of the Omaha Parks and Recreation Department. Hummel Park was developed on a whopping 202 acres of land, all of which was donated to the city of Omaha in 1930. Some compare the entrance sign of Hummel Park to a gravestone, even connecting the sign to the overall creepy vibes of the forest. Now to end the suspense, why is Hummel Park rumored to be haunted? Hummel Park has quite the disturbing backstory. One of Hummel Park's legends refers to the trees, which curve down towards the road. The legend goes that in the early 1900s, many black Omahans were lynched from the trees. The trees are said to forever bow under souls. This legend has not been proven, as there is no record of such hangings. Hummel Park is separated into sections because of how big it is. A specific section named Devil's Den is home to a set of stairs. Supposedly, if you count the stairs going up, you will get a different number going down. But if you were unfortunate enough to get the same number both times, your death is imminent. The Devil's Den is also home to a place where there are animal sacrifices for quote-unquote satanic rituals. There is an area where there are twin altars. No one really knows what they were built for, since a fireplace wouldn't make sense in the middle of a forest. But visitors have reported hearing screams. With investigation of the area, there was no source found. The Lodge As most modern parks have, there is a lodge for families and gatherings. This lodge, in particular, is home to what people may feel as a dark presence. Occasionally, orbs will appear around photos. Probably one of the most ableist legends I have heard, which isn't saying much since I don't know many legends, is the one of the albino colony that supposedly lives in these woods. The legend goes that these people hide from visitors among the trees during the day. Some even say they hide in the trees. But when they get hungry, they attack lone visitors at night. The tale cautions not to be in the forest past sundown. There are no verifiable accounts of this, nor is there any evidence to support the idea of cannibalistic albino attacks. The real dangers. Although there are a lot of legends associated with Hummel Park, very, very few are actually true. But because Hummel Park is a secluded place, very alive people are the most dangerous. In 1933, a radio repairman was murdered in the park. In 1936, a body of a war veteran was found buried in Hummel Park. The local Boy Scouts decided to rebury the skeleton in a casket. There is a gravesite at the top of the cliffs overlooking the Missouri River. 1950. A drunk driver left Hummel Park and ran into a University of Omaha hay rack ride and killed one person. In 1956, an adult male was tried for raping a woman at the park. In 1983, a group of prostitutes from Omaha killed another prostitute and dumped her body outside Hummel Park. In 1988, a recently released convict was convicted of raping a woman at the park. In 1992, a high school student was kidnapped and murdered in the park. In 2006, a missing child's body was found in Hummel Park. Overall, the legends aren't true. They are what they are. Legends. The murders, though, are very real. Please respect the dead if you choose to investigate. Links to the websites used will be in the description. Please do more research if you would like to learn more. Hit the subscribe button if you would like to join me on this journey on learning about the paranormal. Now to end on a happier note, my commissions are open. My artistry link will be in the description below. You can follow my Instagram as well. Link will be in the description just below the artistry link.